couple years. Man, wow. You would have thought I wrote that poem yesterday. Really? <laughs> yes. Okay. Really. <laughs> now, the one thing I noticed about uh, hearing what I've been going through, and you were, you were next to me when I was playing it, <laughs> you sounded young, like you were like 14 and what. I had to check the speed to make sure it was playing at the right speed. Do you, do you hear any difference in your voice or the way you deliver um, between back then and right now? Um, yeah, most definitely, especially since I started playing with a little bit of hip hop. Um, you'll see a different on my a difference on my new album, Queen Motivation. My growth, not only lyrically, but you know how I've learned how to um, control my voice and different producers that I'm working with and stuff like that. So I definitely see growth in um, all aspects. Okay, well, tell us about the new project queen motivation what can we look forward to on this on this john and we're actually going to hear a track from um, from yeah. queen motivation today i'm going to share with you my new single called queen motivation it's the title track for the mixtape um queen motivation basically if anybody's been wondering where i've been for the past four years because i kind of fell off you know um wasn't performing as much wasn't doing as much spoken word as i normally do um, this tells my story. Um, it's very different from my first album, Hood Approved, um, because I think it deals more with my own personal stories and what I've been going through. I call it Queen Motivation because um, it has a lot to do with me becoming a queen. I've always been a queen, but not knowing what it truly means to be a queen and still be motivated. And I just want to give women who have been in my situation, who have gone through some of the things that I've gone through, the stories that I share with you on this album, I want to give them motivation. I want to be that, that female that you can look to because I look just like everybody else that I grew up with and the same women that I work with and I'm friends with on Facebook and the same females I ran the streets with and hung out with and did good and did a little bad. like. My album is to me is very real and it's very it's 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 motivation. It's speaking okay. to my sisters, it's speaking to my queens and not only them but to my kings. That you can have a dream and go after it no matter what your current situation is, what your past looks like, what your future might look like, no matter what. You know, you have a purpose. God made you for a reason. Right. Is it safe to say that artistically your work is expanding while becoming more personal and the reason why I ask that is because I do remember the first album and while your stories are always personal it seemed to be more geared toward the ladies and as you've released more music and more uh, poetry uh, now it seems like the, the stories are still personal, but you include uh, things for uh, the children and the youth. What's the one I like so much where you say, you know, I want my words to be the spark to uh, spark a million Obamas and, you know, what's the name of that one? Oh, wow. You don't even... <laughs> oh, no, no nonsense. No nonsense. No, no nonsense. And now, um, I listened to your set last night. Um... Your your healing words are extending to the brothers as well. Yeah, because I grew up a lot. I've, I mean, not I mean, yeah, I grew up a lot, and because I think sometimes us as females, we forget because the world, society, television, whatever you want to say, tells us. And you said it last night that black men are supposed to be strong 365 days in a year, never supposed to cry, never supposed to show any emotions. And me dealing with grown-up relationships and dealing with a man that was not only, that was abusive, I had to kind of take myself out of the situation and look at him as a human being and not so much as someone who was hurting me, but someone who had been hurt. So... Yeah. I couldn't look at it like, okay, he did all these things to me, he did all these things to me, and keep looking at it like that. I had to look at it like, 
It was something that happened to him in his life for him to become that type of man. To feel as though it was okay to hurt a, another human being, let alone a woman, when he came from a woman. So I'm, I'm growing. I'm, I'm learning about men having feelings, and I'm not the only one walking around who gets sad and gets and cries and hurts. My men also do too. So Kings and Queens tells the story of how I'm a queen who's been hurt and I've been scarred. And not only do I have to pick myself up for myself, but for my brother too. Okay. I have to be a strong woman because I have to be there for my brother. Cool. If that makes any any kind of sense if you follow me. <laughs> I, I definitely follow it. I definitely follow it. So the new single is called Queen Motivation and the album's called Queen Motivation? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put that on. Uh, why don't you set it up for our listeners while I get that queued up? And by the way, when we come back on the other side, I'm going to ask you about uh, this production team. I'm going to ask you about um, how you approach uh, song slash poetry writing now. And uh, also the young lady you have singing on it. Okay. All right. So tell everybody about the new single, Queen Motivation. 